Hello and welcome to today's video everybody. Before I start another Scrap Mechanic Survival, I thought I would show you this game, because it's a bunch of fun. It's called Battletech, obviously. If you've not heard of it before, it's about battle mechs and just good old fashioned blowing stuff up. It's set in the Mech Warrior universe, wherever that is, and is based on Mech Warrior 5. The difference is Mech Warrior 5 is a first person shooter, where this is a top down turn based um, strategy version. I prefer it because you actually get a lot more options and stuff with your mechs. It's quite a bit of fun. Anyway, let's um, kick off and I will show you what the basics of the game is about, what you can expect. In time, hey, you will gather up many, many different types of mechs. I forget exactly how many are in the game, but there is there's a stupid amount of mechs in the game, and then weapon loadouts for each vary greatly as well. There's a huge amount of customization for your party, and well, you know, just bringing general death and mayhem. But once you've selected your mech, and you have outfitted them with what weapons you have available to you slash your best combos and chosen all your armor and such you can get into the actual fighting at the start of each mission you will get to negotiate whether you want more straight up money or whether you want to try and get more mech salvage parts out of it because that's a good way to build more mechs of your own rather than buying them from the stores and stuff i should also mention this is pretty much an open world game where you can go anywhere you want you don't have to do any missions in any particular order there is a story and campaign to play through but you can play through it at your own Roger that, pace Course plotted. in this case I'm just off to do the next mission because I've just started the game fresh again <laughs> Something else you've got to balance with this game is when to push and when to retreat because if your mechs take a bunch of damage you've got to pay for repairs on them and they obviously take a long time to get repaired as well. There's a lot of these mini stories if you will, events that happen along the way and some of them are really cool and have quite unexpected outcomes and at the start of each mission you'll get to choose which mechs you're taking. I've got five. One of mine is already damaged, so it can't come along this time, but I'll take these. I will assign my pilots. Again, you get to level up your pilots. Um, they all have different skills and abilities. Our objectives this time are pretty simple. This is a random generated mission that I've picked up because we are mercenaries in the system after all, um, and I've just got to destroy this one lance of mechs. Command interface initiated. Last known position of the enemy lance was down in that valley, so out. we need to move forward. Reserve. What's up, boss? Moving to position. We got some long-range missiles. Oh, and the AC-5 in range. Some good cover there, so that's all right. We'll start taking some cheap shots at them. See if we can't get any of these other guys into cover. Engaging jump jets. Good, we breached his armor. Waiting on Glitch. you, Commander. Can you get inside anywhere? Yes, you can. Don't need to tell me twice. And what can you put on him? Only the AC twos, eh? Oh. Roger that. Firing on target. Commander. Hey, sir. Can you? Yeah, why not? Affirmative. Just 
moonwalk down that hill, buddy. You missed. Now, let's get you into cover, Kim. We'll keep shooting you in this side, because we've already blown that arm off, haven't we? Select this mech. Yep, this mech's arm is completely missing, so we all want to try and shoot through here to get to the important stuff. Silence all weapons. Barely hit, Commander. Standing by. Now... It wouldn't be fun if I didn't show you melee combat, so we might do a little bit of... Oh, we, we'll do melee with Vindicator, I think. You, buddy, can just finish off this one. No, it's a big mess. I think I hit something good. This move is called Death from Above. I'm gonna use my jetpacks to jump on his head. Surprisingly, I didn't no destroy him. Detected. I hear ya! Glitch. Not gonna help. You may as well just take the shot from where you 40%. I know. Let's take a aim shot at your leg and see if we can't drop. Or you can miss everything entirely. Well, I suppose you shot his other arm off, but when I shoot you, less weapons you'll take for him. It and like it. Are you going to shoot me in the back now? Good to go. Down you go. Now I can get some free shots at him while he's lying on the floor. Free critical shots. You got no arms left, no guns, so you're just trying to bash me with your face. Good to go. Bohemus, you need to punch this one in the face. Uh -huh. Or kick him. That works. Tango down. And well, why not finish this one off in the same manner? Oh no, bad camera angle. Well, we switched him away. And shot him with a laser just for good measure. Enemy map destroyed. Mission successful. And that's the end of the first little mission get my payout now and if I had chosen I would be able to choose the make parts and salvage and everything that I get just like this but I've only got one option to choose from in this case I think I'm gonna take part from a 35 ton mech rather than some new long-range missiles there is a bit of a story um, it's not too bad to get yourself through however the big appeal for this game is straight up the combat. The combat in this game is awesome in customizing your mechs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you give the game a go. It's heaps of fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Job's done, Commander.